What is going on guys? Briar Rabbit here. Today we're going to take a look at Zer's inventory, see what he's got for the week, see what's worth picking up. I'll give you guys some recommendations as well. I will say he's, you definitely want to go check out Zer this week, especially if you don't have a Merciless. Merciless is one of the best weapons of the game. He's got it. And uh, I'm just going to spoil that right away. So go see Zer if you don't have a Merciless for sure. If you like running strikes or raids with your fire team, come on over, see Zer. So the Merciless is the weapon of the week. The main perk here is Conserve Momentum. Non-lethal hits with projectiles make this weapon charge faster until its wielder gets a kill. So essentially, the second fire shot, second shot fires for faster than the first, the third shot fires faster than the third than the second and so on and so forth until eventually it almost feels like you're firing this thing rapid fire by the end of the magazine and it's got an eight round magazine this thing is great for boss damage that's the long and short of it against callus against strike bosses your fire team is going to enjoy the fact that you're running this thing because the boss dies quicker uh it's a very good exotic in my opinion it's one of the top exotics to use it's the top exotic to use for boss damage uh, i can be very good in the royal pools against the bathers there's a ton of reasons to use this thing. Pick this up if you don't have it already. PC, PS4, Xbox, just buy this thing. All right, next up for the Hunters, we got the Lucky Pants. This is an interesting exotic. Uh, the main perk is a legally modded holster. It increases hand cannon ready speed and initial accuracy. So... The initial accuracy is going to be beneficial on the Xbox and the PS4 where hand cannons can be somewhat challenging to use, but it only works really right when you switch to your hand cannon. The increased hand cannon ready speed can also be useful, especially if you want to run like dual hand cannon builds where you're running a hand cannon in your kinetic and in your energy slot. Maybe you just really like running hand cannons because every time you switch weapons, it's go you're going to get the... Uh, ready speed boost and the initial accuracy boost. If you, let's say you are using a power weapon, you shoot a power weapon at an opponent and he doesn't quite die, you also get a benefit switching to a hand cannon really fast to finish that, that person off. That can be really useful in PvP. And normally, I would say these are only going to be useful in PvP. This is really a PvP exotic. You might find some uses in PvE, but for the most part, this is a PvP exotic. And if you like it, you, you might love it. It's really worth checking out if you really like hand cannons. But if you're not a huge hand cannon fan, there's no point in running this. And it's really situational. It only is going to give you a boost right when you switch to a weapon. And if you're already prepared for that engagement when you get into it, you're not going to get any boost whatsoever. So for some people, some people are going to like them. Some people aren't. Uh, give them a shot. I would I recommend giving them a shot, especially if you're a hand cannon user. Uh, next up. Mask of the Quiet One, this is actually a really good exotic for Titans. Main perk here is Dreaded Visage. Grants melee, grenade, and class ability energy when damaged. Void ability kills grant health regeneration. Void ability kills granting health regeneration can be useful in PvP and PvE. Uh, basically, if you're getting in trouble in PvE, just throw a grenade or melee like a low health enemy, get your health back, and continue fighting. In PvP... You really got to be careful with this because not all, or I don't know if any of your your void abilities can actually one-shot an enemy, but if you finish somebody off with like a melee, you can get your health back and then get right into the action again, which can be really useful. The first part, though, grants melee, grenade, and class ability energy when damaged is super useful because, let's face it, we're always taking damage as guardians. In PvE, PvP, doesn't matter. You're just going to get your melee grenade and class ability energy faster when you're using Mask of the Quiet One, and that makes this thing amazing. It's a very good exotic. Definitely pick this up for your Titan. Run it on your Titan. It's very, very good indeed. Next up, for the Warlock, something that uh, I just can't truck with, to be honest with you. The Fusion Harness, or Starfire Protocol, main perk is Fusion Harness. Provides an additional Fusion Grenade charge, and the Fusion Grenade kills... Grant Rift Energy. So the problem is, you got to run a Solar Warlock to use this, and you got to run a specific grenade, the Fusion Grenade. The Fusion Grenades aren't that good because they don't one shot kill people like they used to in Destiny 1. Uh, in PvE, yeah, you can make an argument for this, but in PvE, man, I'd much rather have a Rift that has an Arc Buddy with it if I'm really that concerned about Rifts. So in PvE, you can get this to 
proc pretty often and constantly have rifts going. And in certain situations like raids or boss fights, you can really help keep your, your whole team alive with it. And that could be useful. But you're locked into a subclass and you're locked into a grenade that you may, may not necessarily like. Uh, fusion grenades can kill a lot of PvP, PvE enemies, though, in one shot. In PvP, I don't see much use in this. Uh, fusion grenades just aren't that good in PvP. I'd much rather have uh, pulse grenades. I'd much rather have I'd much rather have a different subclass, to be honest with you, in PvP. Uh, so for me, it's just not that useful in PvP at all. Uh, so pick this up, maybe for some PvE action. If you like the Dawn Blade, if not. I'd probably just skip this altogether. So that's going to do it for Zer this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know, quick tip. When uh, when Zer's around, especially in an area with a uh, public event that procs a lot, it can be useful to run these public events because there's always going to be people around to run them with. Like, always. Because everybody's coming to see Zer, and a lot of people see, oh, well, the public event here, I might as well stop and complete my public event. So it can be very useful to hang out in an area with Zer. Uh, and do some public events because they usually get done pretty fast because there's so many people around. So that's going to do it for this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.